मैडम प्लीज ओके सर हेलो एवरीवन स्टार्ट ना सर या वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू वन एंड ऑल प्रेजेंट टुडे अगर टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ वेबिनार इज अ क्लाइमेट एक्शन और जीरो वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट फॉर द क्लाइमेट रेजिलिटी टू टॉक अबाउट वी हैव अवर टुडे एक्सपर्ट मिस्टर जय शाह He is a city a project officer in ICLEI South Asia region. Mr. Shah has completed his master degree uh, in infrastructure engineering design from SEPT University in 2017. After that, he has furnished his curriculum vital with a number of certification courses. Mr. Shah has joined ICLEI as a project uh, city project officer since July to the uh, 2020. ICLI ICLEI a local governments for sustainability is a global network working with more than 2500 local and regional governments committed to the sustainable urban development uh in introduction to mr shah mr shah has many uh, has numbers of years of experience in his field of sustainable ur urban development Moreover, he has visited numbers of foreign countries like Bhutan, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and Singapore for the different projects. He has bagged lots of experience of this field uh, of this particular topic. In his name, uh, he has seven publications, and uh, lots of achievements are also there listed on in his CV. At last, I just want to say that uh, I really feel proud, Jai, to have student and a colleague uh, like you. I welcome you on behalf of Karol University to present this uh, to conduct this session. Thank you, one and all, present here for kind listening. And uh, with this uh, small introduction of Mr. Shah, I request him to just uh, start with the presentation and to highlight uh, the student participants on this particular topic. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank, thank you, Nirana. Uh, it is a great honor to be part of this webinar and uh, as we know that uh, the recent trend is going on for the climate change and the environment sustainability so uh, today i am going to talk about uh, related to the things which is uh, going to happen related to the climate change and uh, what kind of things we can share it out for a particular climate and how we can uh, get, uh, go to the environment and how we can replicate our ac activities so that uh, we cannot face and our generation cannot face a different kind of uh, flood accessibility or different kind of climate change issues uh so today's topic related to the uh, climate actions and zero waste management uh, which is part of Uh, climate resilient cities so here i am just uh, by forgetting these two things that climate actions require all types of things uh, as we are going to do our daily life activities as well as our different uh, projects that we are going to do and uh, one of the things which is also affect to the climate change which is a waste management solid waste or liquid waste management so we require to do a zero waste management system also this type of things that we require for a climate resilient city climate resilient city it means we we have to make a sustainable projects which is a uh, going to happen in the cities through the different different activities so today we'll talk about uh, climate actions uh, and uh, different zero waste management and different initiative that uh, government of india as well as state government and other uh, cities are taking for the climate actions and overall uh, world is also one of the uh, participants uh, as a participants are taking activities taking initiatives and different projects for the climate actions so uh, we all know that this kind kind of uh, climate change issues are happening right now and we know that uh, what kind of uh, other activities climate long term temperatures and weather patterns are changing day by day uh, we already faced uh, in 
may appray that uh, lots of heat waves are coming up right now and uh, lots of disease related to the heat waves heat strokes are happening right now so this shifts may be natural but it is a man made human activity so uh, we use some of that uh, uh, fossil fuels or coal or oil or gas which is generate a more and more co2 uh, not only co2 there are other greenhouse gases which is affect to the climate change so that overall the uh, things going to change and uh, the emission patterns are impacting to the earth so this is the basic uh, things that we all know uh, but we are not aware about that how we are going to tackle these things so uh, this natural shift we have to change and we have to uh, change our daily activities as well as uh, our uh, uh, behavior changes that we can Uh, consider for the climate change so a uh, global climate target as we all know that uh, these are the uh, control that we have to take our as a city as a citizen as a, uh, a different uh, government as a state as central as a uh, normal uh, local body so these are the targets that we have to uh, do uh, up to the Uh, united nation framework convention on climate change which is a uh, made uh, through the different countries all over the world so we have to hold our temperature of earth which is 1.5 degrees celsius so we have a global climate target but we are not aware about that how we are going to achieve that and why this target uh, are making uh, so bold so that so ambitious the, so that we cannot uh, to uh, achieve those targets so each and every citizen or a normal uh, citizens we have to take uh, initiative uh, to do uh, sustainability in our daily life so that uh, we and our future generation cannot face uh, different actings activities through the climate change so the role of indian cities is like uh, that what kind of things that we are going to happens right now and what kind of uh, cities accounted for uh, for the global emissions here i am just uh, utilized and uh, using some of the terms which is emission it means uh, there are a lots of sectors uh, uh, from where we are generating a greenhouse gases which is affecting to the global warming as well as the climate change so for the indian cities uh what we can do better so that we can achieve a global target or the climate action so second point is uh, is prominent city policy agenda or state policy agenda where city state and central government uh, uh, uh acting as a government body to implement a different actions so there are a cities who are implementers uh, there are a different missions there are a different types of activities going on uh, lots of initiatives are going on uh, from the government side uh, cities have to uh, develop a different kind of processes so that uh, they can participate in the different area of the climate actions so the role of indian cities has to be uh, participate in the climate actions uh to understand why this require and why uh, it is very important for us because uh, we have to uh, survive in, in the future and we have to uh, tackle that of our future generation also here uh, uh the second impacts of the climate change the major sectors that we are talking about that uh, why this heat are generating more and more uh why uh, that rainy days are going to uh, less and uh, because of the rainy days are going to less uh, we face a lots of uh, heavy rainfall at one day or one two day uh, in particular city and we are uh, part of that hot spot of the flood so these are the impacts that we already are facing or already faced uh, because of the climate change so rising Uh, the temperature we faced in the month of may uh, there are a lots of heats uh, coming up we cannot uh, go outside even for uh, the at least after uh, 12 pm or uh, to to 4 pm so there are a lots of rise in atmospheric temperature uh, change in landscape we don't have enough green cover to tackle this heat 
as well as uh, to reduce the carbon dioxide. Uh, we have a rich to ecosystem because uh, the development is going on. Uh, we are not doing a sustainable project. So the ecosystem are going to uh, uh, disturbs right now. And rise of sea level is also uh, happening right now. Uh, there are uh, different health issues. We are after the COVID-19, we know that uh, different types of disease are going to happen right now. Uh, there are uh, lots of disease coming up due to climate change, waterborne disease, uh, heat strokes, airborne disease, uh, air quality related things. So these are the new diseases are coming up due to this uh, impacts of the climate change. We faced a uh, lots of economic impact because of the flood, because of the uh, disaster, uh, different types of disasters are uh, facing the cities right now. Uh, in 2019, we as a uh, Vadodara city is facing a, one of the uh, worst flood uh, ever we have seen. So at that time, we have a uh, lots of uh, economic impact also are there. Uh, then uh, United Nations are decided to do uh, sustainable development goals as well as the climate actions that we are talking about. So uh, one of the uh, climate actions is one of the goal. Uh, there are uh, 17 goals of sustainable development goals. I uh, urge to all the civil engineers at least uh, uh, who are not aware about this uh, uh, opportunity for the civil engineering as well as the different types of engineering that we can uh, do for the climate actions. So we have to know about that what kind of things are going on at uh, world level, central level as well as state level. So there are a total 17 goals are available out of which uh, 13 numbers of goals is uh, named as a climate action where uh, we have to uh, do uh, some of the target. Uh, we, ha we have uh, some uh, of the target, which is strengthen the resilience capacity, uh, which is a climate related disaster, integrate climate change measures, policy and planning, where state, city, policymaker, engineers, planners, how to make an integrated climate change measures so that we can uh, do a better uh, sustainability life, build knowledge and capacity building that we already are doing right now that uh, uh, more and more we have to do uh, awareness regarding the climate change as well as the other things so that uh, youth as well as the young in the leaderships can come up, comes up so that they can take some of initiative, they can start some of the startups which is uh, reduce the climate uh, change issues. So this we have to promote this mechanism and raise the capacity for the planning and management. For this, uh, I am telling you there are uh, lots of opportunity, lots of fundings available, lots of uh, opportunity related to climate as well as the sustainable development goals because uh, all the countries are facing uh, different types of issue. So there are uh, lots of uh, opportunity available where we require uh, young leaders so that they can do a more and more research analysis for the climate actions. Uh, so here we know that uh, climate action is there but uh, we also know that we ha have to do something uh, that how we can uh, mitigate this kind of actions so for that each and every country have done some of that uh, national determined contribution which is a one kind of commitment to each and every country so each and every country have the, uh, decided their targets so uh, as an engineer as a planner we have to understand those targets uh, it is not relevant, but it is relevant in our future life. So India's major three targets are uh, reduce emission intensity. Emission intensity, it means uh, we have to reduce our CO2 carbon emissions and other gases emission uh, 30 to 35 percentage by 2030. Achieve 40 percent cumulative electric power install capacity, which is a non fossil fuel based energy resource, which is a renewable energy or other other part of the uh, fossil fuel, which is hydrogen or any kind of other fuels that we can utilize so that uh, we cannot generate more and more CO2. Create an additional carbon sink where we have to plant uh, trees, uh, plantations and urban forest and other types of things so that we can at least uh, make a forest and tree cover by 2030. So these are the major uh, commitments and contributions through the India at uh, country level that we have to do. 
so these are the very optimistic target we have to know about this target uh, for this target there are a lots of schemes lots of missions lots of challenges are available uh, that uh, government of india uh, as well as the state government city government has launched uh, so that this opportunities are available for us uh, to do some research analysis to do something startup to do something as a job uh, as a employee as a uh, one kind of uh, to contribute something towards the climate actions so these are the uh, potential climate resilient actions that uh, are very important and that kind of things are very uh, important for the any kind of uh, sectors any kind of cities that target so due to climate change and climate uh, related effects we facing a uh, lots of problem related to the roads and transportation sector uh, urban poors and slum uh, land use development buildings water supply street lighting sewerage solid waste management health biodiversity finance education so uh, there are not particular sector uh, requirement for the climate actions all the sectors all the infrastructure sector as well as the development sectors uh, are have to do a some sustainable projects so that we cannot face the climate resilience uh, uh, climate change issue there are a uh, lots of op options available for the transportation sectors that how we can build a sustainable projects how we can uh, uh, change the concrete through the economical material development how we can utilize those buildings as a uh, one of the eco friendly bricks so these are that options that we have to explore as a engineer uh, uh, we have to explore uh, a new things new materials analysis that we uh, require uh, to implement on ground level so that uh, we are uh, on a level that we can do something else biodiversity is one of the uh, sector that uh, we can reduce the co2 very well uh we require a uh, gardens parks and green cover forest cover we require some of that flora fauna in the city so that uh, uh, we know that this kind of flora fauna available so that ecosystem of the overall environment systems can be uh, uh, stable right now there are a lots of opportunities available through out the sector to reduce the climate action uh for that all the cities here i am going to just brief you about that how a normal citizen or uh, any kind of government can take initiative for the climate action plan as well as the implementation of the different sustainable projects so at present we are not going to do anything uh, like train compartment we have to make some of that good plan so that uh, we can analyze then we have to act and then we have to accelerate that journey so here uh, the this uh, round circle is showing you the climate resilient simplified methodology so first as a uh, normal citizens you have to commit for yourself that this kind of climate actions i am going to do uh, this actions are happening for me at least for the, my community then we have to research and assess uh how this uh, baseline setup is going to happen for example uh, as a normal citizen you have take initiative to plantations for the 100 trees for uh, around for in one year that is your commitment to yourself so you have some target that this much of co2 i will reduce uh this much uh, gases uh, and baselines reduce i am going to reduce uh then as a city whole city the whatever uh, sectors we have uh, we prepare a action plan that we can do this kind of activities for that particular detailed projects and sustainable projects that require a uh, lots of finance uh, lots of funding uh, to implement those sustainable projects there are lots of opportunities also available which is called as a climate finance so there are a uh, portal available where we can apply for that project and we can get some credit like we do a share bazaar things like sim similarly we can do carbon trading also uh, we can get some carbon credit uh, for the big amount of project then we have to integrate and collaborate for the particular climate related actions so uh, we don't require to do uh, actions uh, haphazard manner 
we have to make some of that plan at least uh, for ourselves uh, and then step by step we can manage uh, lots of things so as a initiative government of india uh, i urge you all the participants and as well as the students uh, to go through that uh, this kind of assessment framework that government of india has made and this framework is not related to the policy level or something like that as a i am also civil engineer as a engineer we are not going deep into this kind of framework uh, when we are doing uh, engineering or something like that so we are not aware about that what kind of planning or policy levels things are happening so as a climate assessment framework government of india ministry of housing and urban affairs has launched this framework uh, for all the cities uh, where all the cities have to uh, uh, reporting for the energy and green building it means uh, there are some of that indicators mentioned here uh, that under the energy green building you can see that this major six indicators are there that uh, in the city there are any green buildings available or not so based on that uh, cities are getting marks and cities are getting rank based on the all the parameters of the indicators urban planning green cover biodiversity how much green cover we have how much uh, green cover we can increase mobility and air quality is one of the area where we can reduce the uh, air pollution so what kind of clean technology shared vehicles we are using uh, petrol diesel alternative fuels is like cng uh, other electric vehicles or we are using or not so based on this all the indicators and this five sectors all the cities are going to uh, rank like similarly for your internal and external exam similarly for the city also they are ranked for the same things uh, uh, for what kind of actions they are taking they have to do some actions for that particular sector and for particular indicator so i request all of you uh, that just go through this framework uh, there are a lots of uh, websites and other dashboards are available to understand these things uh which is connect your uh, interest also and your uh, background also so that uh, this can be useful for your future uh, enhancement and if you are going to do something research for that or uh, you are going to choose some sector that uh, okay uh, this sectors can be uh, very interesting you can work for that so this kind of things uh, you have to understand properly uh, through the policy level so that Uh, uh you can implement better and better uh these are that uh things that we have to take initiative as a citizen uh, to combat the climate change and to combat the global warming uh save energy at home that we all are know but we have uh, we have to use less energy by switching energy efficient uh, lights so uh earlier we are using a sodium bulb which is a yellow bulb now uh, we are uh, shifted to the led which is a more energy saving things so this kind of system change uh, are very good initiative very sustainable uh, initiative walk bike and take public transport uh, we know that uh, in summer we cannot do bicycle or walk but uh, at least uh, in starting 4 or 5 kilometers you can start Uh, if you are going to do a uh, walk bike and uh, using public transport then only other citizens uh, or your family members are going to uh, use those kind of things at least uh, uh, in uh, normal uh, weekend lives or uh, this kind of thing you can use public transport as and when required we know in india or at least for, for uh, vadodara city as well as the other cities we don't have uh, enough good amount of public transport but Uh, the response of the citizens like ahmedabad brts uh, metros is coming up these are the public transport is a good uh, so that uh, we can reduce uh, the petrol diesel consumption so that uh, we can shift to the public transport so we can uh, go ahead with that particular thing which is a very difficult things to uh, do in a short term but uh, day by day we have to do something for that initiative eat more vegetables that we all know uh, that uh, grains uh, nuts which is uh, which is a part of ecosystem so 
so that the uh, significantly they they have some low lower environmental impact throw away less food which is a solid waste management that we'll talk about uh, later on that how we can manage in the cities these are the some of the case study that i want to show you that other cities other countries are taking a very good initiative uh, through the citizen that how they are attracting citizen participants and youth into the climate change uh, into the environment into the waste management so that they are benefited also as well as the cities also so overall uh, they are going to do a very good um, amount of thing uh, this is the one first case that here i am showing you that green roofs in basel switzerland one of the city they have uh, in the switzerland where uh, maximum temperature uh, is 30 degrees celsius so here uh, at least uh, in uh, middle gujarat we are talking about that uh, 40 45 plus is a normal temperature for us that which is a in the summer maximum temperature we are facing so uh, what they have done uh, that government also help to uh, initiative uh, vertical garden solar rooftop uh, to climate change and mitigation adoption so uh, we have almost all terrace are available which is uh, 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 the empty terrace so what we can do is a vertical garden we can make so uh, at least our rooftop can not be heat as much as that we are facing right now so uh, in basel switzerland government have give some financial incentives for and change some building regulations uh, so they have uh, make some policy that if you are going to do a vertical garden as well as the solar then we are going to do some of that financial incentives one kind of rent that if you are going to this much acres or this much square uh, meter square feet amount of uh, garden vertical gardens or plantation you are doing on your terrace or in your building then uh, you will uh, use uh, you will benefit by the financial incentive so these are the measures that already other countries and cities are uh, taking similarly we have to as a normal citizen uh, we have to take this kind of initiative at least for community at least for the 5 10 uh, houses so that uh, this kind of initiative can be replicate more and more into our cities second one is a uh, uh, denmark one of the cities in copenhagen so where there are a lots of cyclists available uh, they have developed a very good infrastructure for the cyclists uh, all the commuters are using public transport as well as the cycle also so they have a very good target that uh, they have a 4 450 kilometers of a cycle lanes 450 kilometers in uh, the denmark they have a cycle track so that health also one of the concern that we can manage for that uh, nowadays we have a, a lots of uh, employees have work from home so there are lots of health issues also available so this kind of initiative uh, the countries are taking for uh, to mitigate the climate change so that we can shift to the petrol diesel consumption to the walk cycles and public transport so that we can reduce those consumption as well as third one is one of the uh, indian cities uh, that are doing a very good amount of things that uh, efficient use of land like floating solar and ground mounted solar so that we can generate renewable energy and we can utilize those energy into our uh, electricity consumption as well as the municipal consumption so that the amount of financial burden can be reduced so floating solar ground mounted solars are uh, lots of things are taking measures and electricity generations from the solar is very one of the good options and we have a lots of uh, optimistic target at world level and we are achieving for uh, that particular thing similarly one of the solid waste related thing Uh, almost we all know uh, the one of the famous uh, uh, legacy waste and uh, uh, we are going to the dump yard we can call as a, a kachra no daglo which is amdavad pirana uh, is one of the uh, legacy waste uh, that kachra ka dagla that dump site is a one of the uh, mounted uh, uh, giant mounted of the waste so that waste Uh, dump site we have to do a bio mining and bio remediation 
so uh, what is the meaning of bio remediation and bio mining is we have to do a proper segregation of the each and every waste and we have to recycle of that things so that all the waste are going to uh, not in the land or earth we are going to reuse of that things why this uh, legacy was the dump site are going to a big mountain because we are not segregated we are not segregated of our waste at all and we are not giving a segregation wa segregated waste to the door to door collection so at the end of things uh, we face uh, uh, lots of uh, fire in the particular dump site we smelled uh, of the particular thing in vadodara if you are going uh, through the uh, through uh, that uh, highway uh, towards the baruch you can see our vadodara's dump site related to the landfill site uh, near the jambuwa Uh, where all the uh, waste are going to uh, dump there so if we are going to give a segregated waste to the particular door to door collector then this can be reduced so these are that initiative at uh, local level as well as the senior uh, citizen level that we have to adopt and we have to integrate approach uh so this kind of bio mining and bio remediation also have lots of opportunity the research as well as the uh, different technologies requirement uh, reuse recycle and uh, uh, reuse of the waste generation that uh, we are segregated plastic or any kind of clothes or any kind of other bottles are available so this kind of things are available and this opportunity we have to explore that how we can uh, utilize those things so for waste management uh these are the things that we require for the waste is uh why this dump site is very big so we have to promote a four r concept that uh, i already explained that re uh, reuse and recycle but at source level at household level uh, uh, your family members as well as the uh, proper uh, utilization of the reduce of the waste so for example per person if you are uh, generating some amount of waste so you have to reduce those waste you have to use those products which is uh, uh, not generating a waste as a waste we have to not uh, uh, out we have to not put outside in the dustbin so first we have to reduce then we try to reuse of that particular thing and then we have to do a recycle as well as recover so this kind of activities uh, we are also doing uh, to aware the citizen uh, for the motivate the citizen for the waste segregation where we require a lots of uh, uh, young people that no understand they are no that this kind of segregation waste is required because uh, in future in near future we also face these same issues so that we have to do this kind of things awareness to the normal citizen capacity building for the sanitary workers so whoever are working and collecting a uh, waste we have to uh, aware of that capacity building for sanitary worker decentralized of the waste management so if we are uh, dump at one location like irana then we uh, are going to uh, uh, you know that dump site is one of the uh, huge amount of dump site we can face and we face from the smell Uh, we face some of that uh, disease issues this kind of thing and then uh, government of india as well state as well as the city uh, are identify the swachhta hero as well as the waste management hero or swachhta technology uh, if you are have a very good idea they are going to appreciate as well as the fund for that so there are a lots of opportunity in terms of uh, waste management where we do a zero waste management so basically the concept of the waste management most probably you all know that how that waste is going to separately uh, that these are the basic part of that wet waste dry waste and uh, hazardous waste where uh, dry waste we can do a recyclable as well as the non recyclable waste so that recyclable we have to do a recycle only so that uh, we our waste is not going to do go to the dump site so that we can reduce those waste from that particular uh, dump site so wet waste and dry waste uh, we all know that what kind of dry waste and wet waste we are going to do and where we are uh, 
put into that dustbins and why we are putting in the dustbins so we uh, as a citizen there are lots of cities giving our two dustbins which is a red and green but as a uh, normal and behavior uh, pro, pro behavior problem we are not going to use this two dustbins and we are not using those dustbins for the waste we are using dustbins for the water to fill the water or any kind of grains or any kind of other materials that uh, we are using in our daily purpose so those buckets is for the segregated waste and we have to segregate those waste at least wet and dry so that wet waste going to do a organic recycle waste from where we can generate a lots of recycle material and uh, farmers as well as the normal citizen rag pickers plastic uh, traders can generate a revenue out of that these are that rules and uh, swachh bharat mission 2.0 uh, which is a one of the priorities of government so that uh, they have launched 2.0 which is uh, continue up to the 2026 uh, which is called as a swachh bharat mission Uh, so there are a lots of components available for the solid waste management uh, where we require to do a zero waste management uh, so in that there are no not only environment engineer or environment planner or interested participants are going to uh, advise for that particular thing there are a lots of components where uh, we require technology challenge where we require a technology startup where we require some of coding python or related things which are integrated amount of uh, initiative so this kind of initiative we require a very good amount of thing uh, after covid 19 we all know that safety is very one of the important things so that uh, we can especially consider for that uh, personal protection for the sanitary workers or other door to door workers or who are taking care of our waste so uh, if they if you are uh, uh, see that uh, door to door worker is has not uh, wear gloves or something like that just tell him uh, please wear because every government have given some of that uh, uh, safety uh, sh- safety kit to them and they can uh, uh, do a lots of things for that particular waste management these are that uh, effects due to a uh, garbage vulnerable point in the city so that the chalks of city drains polluted Uh, greenhouse gases uh, uh, the animals are eating uh, outside of the uh, houses pollutants contaminated water so all the problems due to this problem we are facing uh, lots of problem related to the disease and well, other problem which is called as a climate action so whatever kind of waste we are generating we have to do a zero waste management so if we have a premises where we have a Uh, we can do a composting that i will explain uh, that how we are going to reduce those waste and we we are going to reuse those waste so this kind of things we have to do a decentralized processing waste where we have to reduce we have to reuse and then we can recover so whatever kind of waste wet waste we have if we are living in a, a bungalows duplex or flats that doesn't matter we can do this composting and we can sell it out we can uh, make a generate a, uh, a revenue out of it so society and society association can uh, utilize those money into the maintenance and as well as a different of uh, other thing so these are the household composting household open bucket composting garden compostings are one of the good option where uh, we can reduce and reuse of that uh, wet waste so at least at household level we can initiate a, this kind of things so that uh, we can replicate these things to the each and every citizen so as a uh, uh, normal environment or climate uh, related things we can do some actions one of the this options so these are the things which is a uh, move towards the zero waste management so zero if we are doing a zero waste management then we can reduce the climate action there are a lot of other activities also that we have to consider for ourselves that how we can consider uh, for the particular things and how we can uh, going to happen uh, i am not uh, detailing out the all the things uh, because 
uh, I am detailing out the you will uh, uh, bore for the uh, things. So we'll have some interactive also. Uh, so in conclusion, uh, all the climate change and waste management is one of the big challenge. So we require some of that actions. Uh, we require some of that uh, various level of uh, governments that require individual actions. Uh, how we can understand and how we can address a global warming and how we can uh, utilize those uh, behavior activities. So you have to be part of this things uh, that overall global campaigning are going on. Uh, so let's uh, discuss whatever doubts you have, whatever kind of things you have, uh, you can speak up and aware of that changes. Uh, there are lots of initiative that recently government has taken up that uh, lots of climate change related uh, programs and our uh, initiative in that we know that this kind of programs are not uh, up to the mark for normal citizen but uh, this kind of things if we are aware about that then as an engineer as a planner as a uh, normal citizen we can part of this so whatever kind of uh, stage we are we can make a very good uh, amount of activities for the climate change there are lots of activities in uh, Vadodara cities that we are doing right now uh, as a part of awareness and IC activity that we are uh, going to do as well as uh, we are already doing. So these are that uh, awareness campaigning that we already are doing for the uh, Safai workers, for the North municipal schools, uh, private schools are getting one of the good amount of response for the uh, things, but municipal school students are not uh, getting those amount of awareness. Uh, normal citizens, uh, normal lady, uh, they are doing a, one of the good composting at uh, different houses. Uh, there are lots of ladies who are doing a garden composting and uh, the household composting, bucket composting. So uh, lots of uh, small kids and uh, normal citizen are doing a lots of things where there are uh, lots of opportunity available in terms of ground level. So this kind of things, uh, we have done a lots of school students as well as the college students of the other universities are joined together and they come and they just uh, experience this kind of things that what kind of things are uh, going to do and that is the one of the uh, country level campaigning as a waste management uh, under the swaj bharat mission as well as the climate change which is a climate change framework that we have so these are that awareness we already are doing. If you are, if you wanted to part of this uh, activities, then you can uh, just contact me. We can do something for the at least for the Vadodara city as well. Uh, and for the climate actions, uh, you have to make at least two things that uh, two actions you are going to do uh, for the future. It is not required to invest your money into your actions, but it is required to uh, change your daily life and then. You can change something at least uh, one of the two things that uh, at least for weekend you are doing some cycling at least for weekend you can do some use of public transport if you uh, are going outside uh, so there are uh, lots of initiative as uh, doing government as an is officer uh, some other is officer are uh, go on the cycle so that other uh, citizen also uh, get motivated into that so uh, I request all the participants that uh, you can change uh, and you can make some two actions that you can uh, do for the climate actions. Uh, for the, to join this kind of awareness activity, if you want to join, you can just part of this uh, things. Uh, you can uh, scan this QR code and you can just uh, send your things. Uh, these are the registration link also that you can do that kind of things. This uh, whole boundary of this uh, slide is uh, sustainable development goals. So all the 17 goals are mentioned here, which is a launch by United Nations uh, and uh, all the 195 countries has signed that uh, they are going to achieve a target by 2030. So to achieve those targets, there are lots of project opportunity and uh, uh, job opportunities are also available. So if you are aware about this kind of initiative, then you can explore some of that uh, sector so that you can go better. So this kind of things you can uh, do uh, at uh, your level. Uh, if you wanted to part of this system and you, if you 
do a individual level you can de de definitely you can part of that you can uh, you will get some recognition or any kind of certifications or any kind of that experience that we are not getting right now so that kind of things is very required as a youth as a uh, participants that we uh, have to do so these are the things we have to keep in mind so i request all the participants at least two actions uh, uh, you can make and you can uh, take a further initiative uh, which is a, one of the small actions that you can take up and uh, that you can do a better job for your planet so here i am just conclude my session and we can have some of that uh, interactive session if any questions or any kind of doubt uh, any students if uh, are available then they can ask any kind of uh, things related to uh, climate as well as the waste or any kind of other sectors if they have some doubt uh, if you are doing uh, I, uh, after thesis or something like that 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 topic also one of the topic uh, they can take and there are other civil engineering topics also available for that particular thing so uh, i just uh, ask the participant if you have any questions or any kind of uh, suggestions or any kind of initiative that you are taking if you want to share to everyone then also you can just say so much for for the wonderful and interactive session thank you so much so with this uh, we are ending the webinar now okay thank you sir thank you thank you everyone thank you